Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm port 7 and welcome to another Polycore Media video on Destiny 2. It is week 4, yep, 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 week 4. And joining me today is DGamer109, but you will not hear him speak, it's just me speaking. <laughs> so, uh, this week, uh, what was it? Ah, Agar Sector is out, so that will be a separate video that we're going to have loaded up. Uh, with his all his story content and quest steps. Today is Wayfinder's Voyage for this video on the weekly story material. So let's head off to the uh, helm. Once you're in the helm, you want to head straight to the Wayfinder's Compass down below. Each ascendant beacon you reawaken reclaims a road once lost to me, broadens my sight. But my realm still aches. Savathun has done so much to destroy everything my people worked for. She stole my brother from me, twisted his mind, and delivered him to his executioners. Then she had the audacity to steal him from the Traveler, manipulate him, and... ...lead him back home. It is strange, having him here. And yet not. Fro is a wounded bird. Flinching away from me, so much like Aldrin, but lost without a guiding hand. Do you understand why I forbade him from speaking with Savathun? This reunion is such cruel kindness. I will find a way to repay her for it, and you will continue to bring me the Techians I need to do so. All right, once you finish that portion of the quest, you can go ahead and just click to the next step and pick up your exotic quest down below, a hollow coronation, which is basically tracing of the stars four. Um, your first step in that will go to see Mara Saab, and then once you go see her, then you'll have the next quest step, which is, uh, what's it called? Oh, uh, finding all the Atlas skews, which will be five of them. And that will be in our next atlas skew guide video which was recorded and clipped by dgamer119 along with me we both searched them out i actually found them all so woohoo we got that out today and i hope y'all enjoy that um atlas guy skew video so go on ahead and just talk to mara Sav. And once you've done that, then you can just pick up your quest step. There you go. Next, for the Wayfinder's Voyage, you want to go ahead onto the Dreaming City. That is your first step, like each week. And you're going to be going and clicking to do the Astral Alignment uh, activity. So, the same thing each week, Astral Alignment. Then after the Astral Alignment, you will be prompted to gather Parallax Trajectory. This week... Uh, ascendant anchors are appearing in the EDZ. You can find them in the Trostland, the Winding Cove, and I believe one other part of the EDZ. You'll get about like three or four in the Trostland area, and you can about, find about two or three in the Winding Cove. And that'll be more than enough to complete the parallax trajectory that you need. Once you pick that up and you got to the next quest step, you'll be heading off to the Shattered uh, Realm. That's it, Shattered Realm. So click on the helm. And there it is, Shadow Realm, and this week is the very first one from the first week. So it has the church and that beacon up in the forest. And once you complete those first two beacon alignments, you can either just roam around, look for the trivial mysteries and stuff, or you can go ahead and head on to the third beacon alignment. And you'll be fighting the boss on this third one, as you can see right here.
Alright, once you're done, you'll be prompted with some dialogue at the end, and then you'll head to the helm. So that's another rescued Tekian. Exactly how many of them did you just fling in here? Were you hoping if you hurled enough bodies at the Ascendant Plane, maybe your troubles would go away? Watch your toe, Crow. Or what? You'll leave me for dead here too? Oh, I'll do more than that. Alright, head on into the helm and head to the Wayfinder's Compass to purchase a, I believe, a new mod perk. So the mod perk will be in the top right hand corner. As you see right there, it's called, what is that? All right, yeah, the barrier breach one. It'll be longer duration right there on the top right, enhanced breach. Once you have picked up the mod, you can just head on to Marasov's chambers and head straight to Tap Savanthun for the next dialogue. I've been thinking about family quite a bit. What with all the spare time I have. It might surprise you to hear, but everything my siblings and I have done has been for each other. Even though the Vanguard isn't quite the same, they're no different at heart. You'd do anything for your family, chosen or otherwise. Go to any lengths to avenge them. Look at the Crow and Queen Mara. Siblings. Bonded by cosmic fate, forever orbiting one another like binary stars. Mara reminds me of my sister. She's afraid, holding on so tightly because she can't bear to lose one more thing. But we all have to let go. When I am separated from my worm, I'll be separated from Zivu Arath, too. And then my sister will be alone. The last of us. But as much as I care for her, I cannot stay like this. Alright, that is everything from this week, everyone, for the Wayfarer's Voyage. Thank you for joining me this week. I'm Horde Sign of Seven, and today with me was with was D Gamer 119 and I hope everyone enjoyed today's little story video and I hope you check out today's other videos the Atlas Skew locations and the Agar Scepter video and once again I will see you next week bye bye